Hi, welcome to this tutorial. It's mid July 2018, and when we update our systems today, only if we have Discord installed, we get some issues. When we update our system, and this command just updates Arch and Arco Linux, you can find the information in your alias. So, update is this one. In the latest version, I've made an extra Y in there. But if we want to update everything, like also uh, the AUR packages, then you see up here there are three packages. And these are the libraries that were used for Discord. So it was um, built at some point in time, an update comes in. And what do we get? An error. And we cannot skip it or we cannot do anything. So we are stuck with a red icon up down here. And Pamek is saying you need to update those, but he can't because there's an unknown public key. One or more PGP signatures could not be verified. There is a complete wiki about PGPs and out about GPG and that's our command we're gonna need. I'm just going to show you that we are way over our head in the sense that it's incredible how much information you can do. Let's do it again. Whoa. GPG 389 extra options for this little command with three letters, right? So a lot of things to learn about it. Um, it's all on the Arch Wiki. I'm going to just tell you what to do for Discord. Okay, we need, there is a key and the key is not known. So we probably need to get a key. So you're looking for a command to get a key and it's here. Receive keys, that's a good one. And if you don't like to type that much, then this one, a shorter version. Anyway, I'm not typing, so I'm gonna use my tap all the time. So receive a key, which one? Which one? I should receive this key, all right? Control Shift C, going down, Control Shift V. Get me that key. And then it says, there is a receive failed server indicated failure. Now, if everything works on your end, you're uh, with happy guys, what a few, what many, I don't know. I have a problem anyway. It might be firewalls, it might be routers, it might be also the, your internet service provider that blocks these things. Anyway, I have a fix for it. And if you are in the same situation, then you follow along and otherwise you'll just skip this part of the video. So I have a problem. I go to Thunar, file system, etc, pacman.d, gnu pg, and there's this gpg.com, control C, I'm gonna take it with me, go to Eric, go to gnu pg, and copy paste it here. I forgot, it seems to uh, do, uh, to delete it because this is take four of the video already. So gpg.com, all right. So this is information that I need on my system, in my hardware, in my place in the world, with my internet service provider. I have to tell them something. I'm going to tell them, look, the key server to go to is, let me check that, like so, HQ, Key, key server, no, pool dot sks key server ns dot net. This is what normally Arch Linux provides. Okay, hqp. Let's check it if there are no typos. Pool dot sks dash keyservers.net yeah so trying it again doesn't work um, there's a possibility to tell them look go over port 80 save oh and there he finds a information he finds a public key from Tom Stellard from redhat.com imported and processed and all that you see a lot of things happening in the back end in the folder don't care don't mind but it's there, you have imported a key from Tom Stellar. Now, if that is not working for you, there's an even other solution, and that's this one, 
and that's 443 and then make sure you have the secure version with an S. So let's check if I did any typos. So with an S, okay, pool 443. This is also something you might try if your port 80 did not work. Okay, so key is imported. The only thing we have to do now is just wait and wait a very long time. You'll see, just run it and then go drink a coffee because it will start building. And building of these packages takes time. That's why I had a what if. What if I built these packages for you and put them on a separate repo? So a new repo has been created as of mid-July 2018 and we can just update it. That is something for another video. All right, cheers.